Oh, Christmas tree, oh, Christmas tree, how nice you look in Access. This is an Access report. In the design view, we see that Merry Christmas is written in a control. The text goes to about three inches. The property sheet shows us this is a label. The details section is empty. No controls and no tree. The Christmas tree and star are drawn using VBA. Let's see how this is done. The report has a page event. When we look at the code, we see that variables are dimensioned. X and Y are values for the top center coordinate of the tree drawing. DX and DY represent the difference along the X axis and the difference along the Y axis. They relate to width and height respectively. Scale mode doesn't need to be set here, but it's good to make it clear. TWIPS is the default measurement for drawing. There are 1440 TWIPS in an inch. Scale width is the width of the drawing area, and it is the difference in X, or the horizontal direction. For the difference in Y, or the vertical direction, the height of the page footer section is subtracted from the scale height. The page header section with the title is ignored when calculating the height for the tree drawing. The tree and the title are going to be in the same space, since the top of the tree isn't very wide. The center of the drawing in the X direction is the scale left value, which is zero in this case, but good to be explicit, plus half the horizontal distance. The top of the drawing is the scale top, which is also zero in this case, but it doesn't really matter what the value is. Then. Draw Christmas Tree Procedure is called. The report object, me, is sent, then the top center coordinate and the height. Draw Christmas Tree is a public sub in a standard module. At the top of the module, pi is defined as a constant. Also, some colors are defined. They're done here, so they can be used as default optional parameter values. Here's the report object. Top center coordinate and height sent by the code behind the report. If any of the optional parameters are null, they are assigned values. Then variables are dimensioned. X and Y define the coordinate of a point, and since we need to keep track of more than one point, there are two more sets of coordinates. S text is a string variable for writing on the page. The radius of the tree is set to 75% of the drawing height. The angles define the arc when the tree will be drawn. In the drawing coordinate system, zero is at three o'clock, and angles increase counterclockwise. Angles are measured in radians. There are two pi radians in a complete circle. These angles can be adjusted depending on how wide you want your tree. The tree stump adds 20% of the radius <laughs> to its width, which is kind of a wide stump. <laughs> you could make that less. The top of the stump is the radius of the tree added to the treetop, which is y. When drawing, y is zero at the top and increases downward on the page. 
The bottom of the tree stump is the top of the tree plus 90% of the drawing height. The fill color is set to brown. A line is drawn from X1, Y1 to X2, Y2. The outline color is brown. BF means a box, not a diagonal line, and F is filled with color. Now we draw the actual tree. It's a filled sector of a circle. Access can't do triangles, but it can do circles and parts of circles, so that's what we use. The center of the circle is in the middle of the drawing and 10% down from the top. The fill and outline color are the tree color. The angles have a negative sign, not because they're negative angles. The negative sign is used here to indicate that the radius line should be drawn. If both radius lines are drawn, the shape is closed and will be filled. The star on top is actually a character in the Wingdings 2 font. First, the outline star is drawn. Its size is proportional to the radius of the tree, so as the drawing gets bigger or smaller, so will the star. The foreground color is set. In this case, it's orange. The Y coordinate is the top of the tree minus half the height of the text. The X coordinate is the center of the tree minus half the width of the text. Then the star gets printed at the specified coordinate. The inside star, not so big, is printed with the same process. On the first day of Christmas my true love gave to me a star on a Christmas tree. You can download this database and use it to make your own trees. Thanks for joining me. Merry Christmas to you and those you love. Peace to all.